<laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, stop the scrimmages uh, like here and um, yeah, it's that time of year where you're kind of tired of getting of being in the gym, tired of just doing these meaningless skates. And you're ready to to go out there and actually compete and actually play. Uh, no, we uh, we talked a bit um, uh, about the season and then about stuff like that. Um, I'm sure as this camp goes on, we'll talk more and more, but um, not uh, not too much uh, about you know line mates or stuff like that yet. You know, as a guy new to this organization, is it exciting to have a trip like Australia so early in the year to spend time with these guys and away for a week and kind of get to know them a little bit better? Yeah, yeah, it'll be. I think it'll be really fun. Um, you know the message is clear. It's we're not going there for vacation. We're going there to prepare for the season. Um, so that's the the most important thing. But at the same time, everything away from the arena. Uh, once we get that work done, it'll be it'll be good to bond. It'll be good to, to get to know everybody. Um, it's great that we get to do this early and not closer to the season. You know, we come back, we still have five or six ex exhibition games. So um, you know, if we do everything right, which which I'm sure we will. Um, you know, we, we shouldn't be tired. We shouldn't be jet lagged or anything when the when the season starts. Pierre, how much? Oh, Pierre, sorry. Um, say, saying what you just said. Um, because <coughs> it's the preseason, because it's at the very beginning of the year, and you said, you know, when you came here, that you, you know you're kind of you like to explore, a plumber. So how does that appeal to you? Do you, do you looking forward to kind of exploring? When, yeah. You know, when you can, when you when you're there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've always wanted to go to Australia, and I kind of accepted the fact that it was probably going to be when I retired that I was going to go when I had a lot of time. Um, so to get to be able to go now is is uh, really exciting. Um, you know, we'll go to the rink. We'll do we'll do what we have to do. We'll work. Um, you know, we'll we'll learn. We'll we'll do the training camp part of it, uh, and then you know when you leave, you you recover and all that. But you know, whether it's just walking around, or, I mean, it's 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 a different continent. It's it's a different uh, environment, so that would be extremely fun. Um, you know, really excited for the training camp to start, and also for uh, for that portion of it. How curious are you to, to see in locals take in the game? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we we're lucky. I think we get uh, we're gonna have the opportunity to go to uh, one of the rugby games or Australian rugby games. So it'll be fun to see that that side of it of um, you know their their sport and then. For them to see our sports, um, it'll be, I'm sure it'll be really fun. It'll be really exciting. Um, it'll be like nothing. You know, I, I've never played anywhere else. I've played world championships and stuff like that, but this is completely different. So it'll be really fun. Yeah, how much pressure do you feel in training? What three weeks for you? You signed a big contract. This team is expected to win and do well in the playoffs. For you personally, what's your mindset coming into the season? Uh, it's the same as you, every year. I'm just trying to help the team win. Um, you know, I, I, I don't think anybody should look at uh, a contract or a trade. I mean, everybody out there is just trying to help the team win in whatever way they can. And you know, if you put more pressure on yourself, you're not doing yourself a, a favor, and you're not helping your your teammates either. I mean, you know, you can't ask more of yourself than 100%. You you worked hard in the gym, you worked hard, you prepared um, for the season then you know there should be no added pressure it's just go out there and play hockey it's the same sport it's the same league it's the same competition um, obviously it's a new team but if you're uh, I put all the efforts possible this summer and I'm, uh, I'm ready to go do you think there's less pressure on you because you're playing Kovatar and Benelli centers as well yeah I mean look it's we have a great team <laughs> we have so many good players on this team a lot of depth throughout the entire lineup um, you know, and I think to win a Stanley Cup, you need you need everybody. You need that depth, and and that's something we have. And it's going to be a long season. There's going to be ups and downs, but when you have that many guys, that many guys every night can make a difference. Um, it can be any line, any deep pairing. You know, you you have a good chance of winning most games. You know, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on what it was like to play against him. It was not fun. Um, I was laughing with Moore. I, I saw him with his uh, the black jersey on today, and. I have nightmares of that, so uh, <laughs> it'll be fun. It'll be fun to play with this team um, instead of playing against them. You know, they're they're a tough team to play against, and like I, I just said, so much depth um, throughout the lineup. There's no real weaknesses, and you know, whether you're going out there in the first period or the third period, you're up 
by two or down by two if they're a hard team to play against. And um, it'll be really fun to, to suit it up with them instead of against them. If I can get in your own words, what you can bring now on the edge, more of a style or self-evaluation for this group here now. Yeah, I, uh, you know, what's the most fun for me uh, is winning games um, and is going out there and, and being a dominant player out there, um, whether it's playing against other teams' top line or anybody. You know, I think scoring goals is great. It's just uh, fun, but winning games is the most, the most fun thing. And um, there's a lot of ways you can help your team. And I think going out there and being a, a, a dominant force and being a good centerman for my wingers and my defensemen, um, supporting everybody on the ice and, and being that line that can be counted on both offensively and defensively, um, you know, that's kind of what, what I, I want to become. And I think I'm, I'm on my way to becoming that kind of player. Apologies if you've already been asked this, but uh, with Drew Doughty, you guys had some battles on the ice <laughs> previous years. I wonder how the transition's been to becoming his, his teammate, because I know you guys have gotten to know each other a little bit. Yeah, it's not too hard to get to know the, uh, Drew. Um, the first time I was here, he picked me up to go to, to the rink, and um, it felt like I've known him for my entire life. I mean, he, he doesn't stop talking, so you get to know him really quick. But he's he's a great guy. Um, off you know on the ice against him, he's a, he's a competitor, and you could see that from the start. Um, you know he treats everybody the same out there. He competes against everybody. Um, so to get to know him has has been really easy. Uh, he's a great guy. He's a great leader in the dressing room already. Um, so I'm I'm excited to get to know him even more. Yeah. Uh, you just play. You just played on the. Yeah, um, I think it's no secret. I think to win, you need you need depth throughout the entire lineup. Um, you know, I, I play center, so you know we can talk about that. But you have Kopi, Phil, um, myself, and guys like Lizzo who could play center, and um, you know he competes out there. Lizzo, I mean, he's uh, not easy to play against. He's he's like a little bee out there. He just he's everywhere. He never stops. And um, and then you look at Phil and and Kopi, just. Uh, size, skill, compete, um, play well on both ends of the ice. Um, you know, I think it could be a matchup nightmare for for another team to to figure out who they want against their lines, or you know, if they're just going to roll them. Um, it's it's going to be a I think it, it's going to be a tough matchup to play against us, and you know, it's it's it'll be good for the regular season, but I think um, yeah, we got to take it one step at a time, so it'll be good for the regular season. Yeah, yeah, we've uh, brushed up on it already a little bit. Um, you know, it's it's a five-man system in the middle where if you get it right, it's impossible to go through it. Um, so it takes everybody, and it's it'll take. I'm sure it'll take a little time, and it'll take some practice, and you know the practices help, and obviously training camp is is meant for that. But um, you know, it's 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 going to be a process, and hopefully that when the first game starts in um, in October, I'll be ready to go. Yeah, um, you guys can call me PL. That's perfect. Yeah, PL. yeah, PLs. Yeah, I've have I have too many names, so we'll stick to that one. Most of the buffs are gonna come to you, so I just want. Yeah, yeah, PL is perfect for me. That's good.